Car dealers screwed themselves, Dad. Like royally screwed themselves. They got greedy last year and now customers are seriously screwed. We have ed- evidence, video evidence of this, correct? We do, indeed. Yes, this is this is a, a sad but true tale of woe. And honestly, did dealers screw themselves? Um, well, the- Am the, I being hyperbolic here? Well, to a degree, because the dealer who screwed the customer didn't screw themselves. They screwed the next dealer trying to get her out of the vehicle. Let's watch. Let's see. Ready? Yep. So today I had a lady come in trying to trade in her 2023 Kia Telluride for a new Nissan Pathfinder. There was only one problem. She owes $75,000 on that Kia Telluride. MSRP for a brand new one equipped the same way hers was is about $45,000. Let's just pause there for one sec. How does that happen? How does someone owe 75 grand on a $45,000 MSRP vehicle? Well, there could be a couple of reasons. They, they could have paid a sizable market adjustment and not put any money down when they went to get the loan. Or my here's my supposition, since this lady is trading in a 2023 Telluride, okay, which means she hasn't had it all that long. She traded in a vehicle that she hadn't had all that long to get the Telluride that was chock full of negative equity that she rolled into her current loan. And apparently she must have good credit because the bank agreed to finance way, way more than the value of of the collateral. So that's how it could happen. All right, now what situation is she in now? Let's keep going. So after doing a quick appraisal on her vehicle and it's appraising with the current mileage at about $41,000, this lady is $34,000 upside down. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so let's <clears throat> let's just let this sink in. Why am I saying dealers screwed themselves? Like what's my what's my ba- what's my case for that? Well, because this this customer, if if she wants to get out of this vehicle, she cannot. No. You know, this is one of those cases of you can pay me now or you can pay me later. If she wants to get out of it and she's got thirty four thousand dollars worth of negative e- negative equity, she can't roll all that in onto the pathfinder. So she's going to have to come up with some cash. CarEdge.com, all sorts of free resources back there, Dad. Like what? Oh, I don't know. What's your car going to depreciate over time? How much is your insurance going to be? What should you expect to pay for fuel? It's all there. All that information in one place. It's her own damn fault, okay, for not putting cash down or agreeing to finance such an egregious amount of money against a $46,000 vehicle. Um, This is a situation where a consumer um, screwed themselves and the dealership enabled it it and was party to it. Um, So, you know, all all the Kia dealer did was figure out a way for her to get the vehicle that she wanted that and it really wasn't in her best interest to do what she wanted to do and the dealer's interest is well we're here to sell vehicles and if a consumer wants to do it it's our job to figure out how to yeah if you cared about your customers and I can't tell you how many times I would sit down with a customer and say, this is not in your financial best interest to do this, to make this transaction. It doesn't make good sense. You're going to put yourself in a very bad situation. And I would do my best to talk a customer out of it. But realistically, the dealership's responsibility is to sell vehicles. And if a customer wants to buy one, their obligation is to try to figure out how to help it help make that happen for that customer. And it's the customer's fault for for needing to 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 move into another vehicle while you have so much negative equity prior to ever really paying for it. So to be very clear, Pops, millions of people are going to be out of the market this year, next year, and into the following year because they bought, I, I, I don't know the stat off the top of my head, but more than half of vehicles sold last year, new vehicles, were above MSRP. Yes. So that means that people paid for those additional dealer markups and they financed the additional dealer markups. Yes, and they, in many cases. And, and so ultimately, the reason I'm saying dealers screwed themselves is because they took, out, took away any shot of this woman getting into a loan to get another new vehicle. 
Those people, millions of them, it's seriously millions, 13.9 million new cars sold last year. They, they are out of the market, 13.1 million, whatever the number is, I think it's their period, whatever. They're out of the market because they're in such deep negative equity positions on their vehicles. But they, they, all of them should be in the market for sound financial advice so that they understand what it is that they're doing to themselves when they're doing it to themselves. Okay, the the ignorance of the consumer associated with this transaction is astounding. It's just absolutely astounding. And the and the willingness of the bank to accommodate her is equally as astounding. Somebody at the bank should say, this is not good. This is this is not good for the consumer. It ultimately might not be good for the bank because if she realizes she can't get out of that Telluride right now, she might decide to stop paying for it. Okay. And if there's a $75,000 balance on it, and if it gets repossessed and it goes to the auction and, and, and a dealer bids on it at $40,000, there's the 30, bank's holding a $35,000 bank. net loss. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and, and they can sue the customer for the deficiency balance. Great. But the whole thing is it, it shouldn't have happened in the first place. There shouldn't be such financial ignorance on the consumer's part, and there shouldn't be the willingness to enable it at the dealership and the bank level. Mm, well said, Pops. Thank you, TikTok, for surfacing this video. And when you when you hit on us, oh, no, it's not. No, it's happening. This is a perfect example. Yep. 30 Five thousand dollars underwater, Dad. That's scuba gear. Yeah, self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. I need like six of them, man. Uh, they they need the deep scuba lessons. Yes.